Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today we are talking about the best $5 moments to get on the marketplace right now. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so this episode was inspired by Steph Suto. During work, I dropped in on her Twitch stream. During my allocated recreation time, I dropped in on her Twitch stream. Very good vibes there. You should follow as well. You can find her here and here. Highly recommend you check it out. Lots of good vibes there to be had. And she is one of the three Powerpuff Girls of NBA Top Shot, along with Top Shot newbie and Jennifer Suto. And if you don't know, Steph is obsessed with CP3. And currently, he is on the marketplace for a ridiculous $5. Twice, both of his 35K moments. So that got me thinking, what are the best $5 moments on the marketplace today for you to consider? Now, we're going to preface this as not financial advice, so we're going to put a little warning down here so you can be duly warned. Now, let's go to the marketplace and look at the best $5 moment. Now, as you know, you can go to the marketplace, scroll down here, enter a price of $5 on the left, and scroll through. But to save you pain, I have done that because there's a lot of moments that you might not want. And we might go through some of them as well. For instance, Malik Beasley. You might love him, but on the Minnesota Timberwolves right now, probably not going anywhere but down. Tobias Harris on the 76ers for $3 in the playoffs has potential possibly to make a run. Let's go through some more. Russell Westbrook, $5, all-star on fire, just went through the triple-double record this season. Very cool moment. This is ridiculous. James Harden. Now, if I was if I was to go select and buy right now, I bet you it's not $5 anymore. No, it's $6. In fact, $6 isn't even going to last long. I thought he was $7. But when I put this page up for this video, it was $5. Ridiculous. And this is his brand new 35K CC moments. Here is Chris Paul, Steph Sudo's absolute favorite player. And this is his new 35K CC assist to DeAndre Ayton. This also qualifies for your quest showcase if you so have it. And he's currently sitting at $5. Now you'll notice this little graph I've got down here. This is what NBA Nana is good at. If you said to yourself, for instance, I want a serial under 10,000, you can see this is the serial curve. You can see this right now. And sometimes you'll see one sticking out over here, which will be a clear bargain. But you can see, okay, I can get four digits for $7, or I can get four digits for $6 over here. Right. This is probably my best buy. And you've got that written over here under best price analysis. Really cool tool to have if you're looking in this way. More $5 moments. Caleb Martin. Now, I mean, this is just because it's a cool moment and it's got a lamello tap buzzer beater assist. It ticks a lot of boxes. I just thought it was cool. Not my recommendation. I just thought it was cool. Zach Levine has a lot of fans. And this is him having another throwdown party. Drew Holiday on the Bucks, Top four in the East. Definitely a worthy... Um, sort of fringe superstar for $3. I mean, $3 is very low risk. At the worst, you're only ever going to lose $2 on a $3 moment, ever. Uh, Mike Connolly, same thing. Utah, number one record in the NBA this year, clinched today, and he is $3 and the point guard of said team. Now, the Miami Heat are interesting. They're relatively cheap. Ooh, that, I, why am I reacting to that? I haven't seen that. Over Sabonis as well. Sometimes you just shouldn't take the charge, Sabonis. $4 for Bam. You know who could be the Miami Heat of the playoffs last year? The Miami Heat this year. They are peaking at the right time. So Bam out of bio for 4 bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. Shea, Gidgel, Shea Gilgis Alexander. There go the name fumbles again. $3 again. Now, I know he's not in the playoffs, and yeah, potentially he could get forgotten about and go down again, but he's a ridiculously good player. Right now, he's a franchise player. Let's say he's $4, $3, that's not going to last long. I mean, Shea Gilge, he's a pretty good player. So if you're any way inclined to like OKC, this one I really like, Donovan Mitchell. He doesn't get the love like uh, super superstars get. But he is definitely the Utah Jazz's man, and he's $5, and this block is a bit ridiculous um, against Halliburton. I bought this one today, thanks to Steph Sudo, because, frankly, she got me hyped up. Um, Chris Paul. Here's the other one from Chris Paul, and here he goes, jump shot, and then he yells at someone, 
<laughs> which you'll see in a minute. Again, he's five dollars, second in the West. Just they they just clinched, and he is just solid. He is such a safe player in terms of. I mean, betting on performance, he is going to perform in the playoffs, I think. And, I mean, twice over, he's $5. I mean, that's quite ridiculous. Taylor Horton Tucker, I had to throw a Laker in here. This is an assist from LeBron. I don't believe in associated value, given that LeBron's in this moment, because, I mean, he's $5. It's not a LeBron moment, but he's obviously featured. Some people think that LeBron being in the moment has that associated value. I don't really, but there are a lot of Laker fans out there. And if Taylor Horton Tucker starts to um, really fill in some performances in the playoffs, I mean, not bad, five bucks. It's also a bit of fun. It's a cool moment. Kevin Love, I'm not high on Kevin Love. He's kind of throwing these toys out of the cot at this point, saying I want out. Um, but for $3, he is a very, well, highly paid player for $3. Ja Morant, this is a good one, I think. Ja Morant is a solid performer also. Regardless of what happens in the play-in, he is a solid superstar. He is high on my list of liquid players. He is in the top 10, in fact, of liquid players. This is our top 10 rankings of the most liquid players in Top Shot. I've referenced it a few times, and here's Ja Morant here at number six. So he is the highest on this list for $5. The sixth most liquid player on NBA Top Shot for $5. That's not bad. I mean, you are not going to find Steph, Giannis, Zion, Luca, or LeBron for $5. Hell, you might not even you might not even find them for $10. So, Ja Morant, definitely a good one. Obi Toppin. Now, I threw this one in because he's got a couple of badges. We'll go through some of those in a moment. But for 5 bucks, two badges, Obi Toppin, Big Market, New York. Not bad at all. Also, you might... Just like him. If you're buying any of these moments with love, you can't lose because if you really love them, it doesn't matter if you take a loss. It's easy to take. Whereas if you really, really love them, uh, you can stack them like I'm doing with this guy, Paddy Mills. I mean, I don't need to explain this. It's Paddy Mills. He's he's clearly the superstar of the franchise, if not the conference, um, for $3. Absolutely legend, ridiculous. So $3 for Paddy Mills, not bad at all. Gordon Hayward. Again, franchise payer for three bucks, not bad. If you believe in the Charlotte Hornets or you think they're a bit of fun, Gordon Hayter for three bucks, not bad at all. Zach Levine again, this is his other one. And here he goes smashing that one down for the alley-oop. Again, Zach has a lot of fans. He's a hard worker. Speaking of hard workers, RJ Barrett. Now, New York have clearly... Uh, where at least over exceeded expectations on a lot of people's um, validation, uh, sorry, valuation this year. And RJ is a part of that. And the way, how hard that team works, um, that is just a credit to their value. So for four bucks, RJ Barrett, not bad at all. Your six man of the year to be, Jordan Clarkson, <laughs> a bit of a ridiculous moment actually, sort of loses everyone himself and then throws up a layup. Uh, three bucks for the six man of the year. I mean, what do you think about that? Now, we don't know if we're going to get badges or anything like that, but they have said that badges can be retrospectively added for things like MVP and Sixth Man, but I don't think we want to flood the market with badges either. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton I've got, along with your Tobias Harris for the $3, $4 range. Um, both of Tyrese Halliburton's moments are $3, $4, and mainly because they're on the sixes. I've included this and them in this list. Here's the other Bam Adebayo. He also has a, another $4 one, 35K CC alley-oop from Duncan Robinson. And so the other one is obviously a 35K LE. So a lot of people have two 35k cc's now you might think oh it's 35k cc's but imagine next season what do you think that's going to be there's going to be more users even if there's um not the exponential growth that you're hoping for there's going to be more users so i'm thinking at least there's going to it's going to be a 50k cc maybe even 100 who knows the jury's out on that one in terms of opinion and everyone else out there but if you're thinking oh, i don't want to buy 35k cc's at the moment this is low risk, and I'm thinking if you look backwards at history in Series 1, we are going to get more and more. Even um, the first lot of... Whoa, here's the other Tyrese Halliburton one. I really like this one, actually. He blocks the absolute stuffing out of Kemba Walker on a three with his wingspan, and then he just 
takes a cup of tea at the other end for two points. Camelo Anthony. Now, I don't know when this dude's going to retire. I'm predicting it's going to be in the next year or two. But for five bucks, Camelo Anthony, you can get both of his moments for $5. And this one is his turnaround jumper. And that one wasn't the milestone one. His other one was a milestone one where he became 10th on the all-time scoring list. This is another Mike Conley for three bucks. Another Mike Conley for three bucks. I mean, not many low serials over here. But again, you can use NBA Banana. Scroll in on the top, I don't know, 5,000 serial numbers and you can see some pretty cheap three digit serial numbers i mean you get a three digit mike conley for nine dollars but this is the five dollar video so moving on paul george now flat out clearly the marketplace doesn't like the clippers because paul george twice is undervalued this one's a jump shot to beat the shot clock uh, baseline jumper and it's four dollars in a win over utah back in February. I mean, Paul George, if he shows up in the playoffs, I mean, which is possible, probably a first, but possible. Joe Ingles, arch nemesis of Paul George. There's some good fights on YouTube between these two. Um, I mean, I don't need to explain this superstar. For $3, it's a no-brainer. Miles Bridges, I just brought this one up again because it's Charlotte and they're fun and Miles Bridges is a highlight. So anything Miles Bridges, um, it's a pretty good throwdown, basically. It's just like anything from his throwdown set. Every one of his moments is just a highlight. He is a highlight. Now, Joel Embiid. This is an all-star, again, on for $5. An all-star. Probably one of the best all-stars that you can get for 4 or $5. We mentioned Paul George a minute ago. Where's Joel Embiid on my liquid list? He's 18th on the liquid list. Chris Paul's 17th. Kevin Durant, 14th. You're not going to get him. You're not going to get Anthony Davis for $5. You can't even get Kawhi for $5. And you are very lucky to see James Harden for $5 on this list. However, we will find Tyler Hero. I brought this one up because there was a lesson learned and there was an article on Twitter a while back, or a thread I should say, about how Tyler Hero's moments blew up during the playoffs because he showed up. So that's kind of the point of this. Who is going to show up in the playoffs and balloon in value? And when that happens, people are going to go to the moment that they can afford, not necessarily the moment that comes out that is in a playoff rare pack or something like that. Although it has been said we are going to get a rare playoff pack, sorry, a common playoff pack, which theoretically would be readily available to all of us, that doesn't mean Tyler Hero will have one of those or even LeBron James or someone like that. But the people that show up and make moments are going to be in demand, especially before they get minted and released to us. Pumps can last for as little as a couple of hours. So if there's a guy like Tyler Hero who shows up again in the playoffs, and there will be, there'll be guys that overachieve and underachieve there is every year, then he was a lesson that was learned from last year because he became a bit of a, uh, a cult figure of the last year's playoffs. Ah, oh, Mason Plumley. This one... <laughs> fake ball fake and i mean considering my thoughts on Plumley, it's it makes you smile come on now who smiled when Plumley came up comment below harrison barnes now i'm just throwing this one in because it's a super cool moment a turnaround three jumper at the buzzer for the win and it's harrison barnes who is the most um has the largest account on nba top shot who is an NBA player and that doesn't necessarily count for anything they're not in the playoffs they are tanking hard but I just thought it was worth an honorable mention here's the other Camelo one and this is when he became the yep that three-pointer this is when he racked up his 27th thousandth 314th point to push him 10th spot in the all-time career NBA scoring leaderboard. So that's a pretty cool thing to get minted. And it's nice that Top Shot can do that now and immortalize these moments. That's the, that's the beauty of it. CJ McCollum, he is a perfect Robin to the Batman that is Damian Lillard. And for $4, CJ McCollum, he's going to have some playoff performances. He ripped apart Denver today. They're going to play Denver again in the playoffs. Now, Denver might have been cruising, who knows. But no question, he's a really good player for $4, undoubtedly. 
And here's the other Paul George. And this one's this one's actually probably in my top five for dunks of the year. Bang. Five dollars. This, if they thought of it, would have been in the throwdown pack had it not already been a common. Um such a good sort of throwdown. But again, people sort of hate on the clippers. I mean, that's just me observing the marketplace. I'm not just saying there's haters out there. Just the marketplace doesn't like the Clippers as much as it likes other teams. Julius Randle, another all-star for $5. This is his, I um, mean, it's a tip-in. It's not glamorous, but it's an all-star for $5. And, you know, maybe maybe they get all-star badges. I probably wouldn't want to speculate that, actually. I don't think we should get all-star badges. Um because if we get a badge for that, we've got a badge for everything. Ben Simmons for $4. I mean, you know I've got this one already. But what you can also do if you really, really love these things is stack them if you truly believe in them. And I think Ben Simmons has the potential to have a good playoff run. The Sixers are primed with good coaching and players and supporting bench roles and supporting cast in the bench. So, yeah, look, I think Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid possibly have the best supporting cast they've ever had. Arguably, the Toronto year, they were just as good or not better, but things are looking good for the 76ers. I mean, top of the East, not bad. They've never topped the East before. And again, an all-star for $4, and which seems kind of ridiculous. Now, I'm not under any illusion these could go down, but... The other thing you need to check on some of these is the circulation. So let's have a look at our flow market cap extension. You can go to evaluate market as well as a few other sites, but I just find flow market cap quite quick. And we can see that this one is 82% in circulation. So that means there's not much undercutting to come. There might be a dip to come, like, you know, theoretically people are predicting we are going to get $1 moments, but for $4 and an all-star and 82% circulation, that's pretty damn good in terms of low risk. And I mean, some of these moments are around 60% circulation at the moment. When the first lot of Series 2 base set 35Ks came out, they were releasing like 20% at a time. So you had moments that were acting like LEs as opposed to commons because the circulation that was being released was limited. And now... Top Shot, I think, has gotten a bit better in releasing a fuller circulation at a time. And we know, obviously, we've got a pre-register pack coming again this weekend. And who knows, probably another one after that. And who knows, we're expecting Hustle & Show any second now, which would have a Hustle & Show moment and X amount of commons in that pack as well. So there is more moments coming our way. But there's also, they're minting like crazy as well. They're making more moments. That's why a lot of these guys have multiple 35K CCs. And we're kind of oversupplied at the moment, which is kind of what it looked like in before the pump in February and January and all that sort of stuff. Now, I bought Steph Curry up because one, I'm a massive fan of this moment. And two, it's, it gives you a contrast in opinion in terms of the circulation. This one is 33% circulating right now. And he's been dropping to $15. And that seems like a bargain. When another, what, 60% of this comes out, I do not know where this will sit. I don't know that this will go to $5. I've, I, I doubt it. But I will be observing to see because this is a moment I just can't help it and I'm holding myself back constantly. This is a moment I am stacking. What is stacking, you say? Well, look at, this is the LeBron James block, the new one, the 35 KCC, not the LE assist. You can see this guy, Haku, has 297 LeBron Jameses. Another person has 84, another person has 54. I mean, that is stacking. And what you can do with stacking is turn a profit of, say, a $5 moment. Let's just say you made 2 bucks on a $5 moment. If you do that 10 times over, that's 10 times the profit. And that's what stacking is all about. It's low risk. You can enter and you can scale and you can bootstrap by doing that. The other thing I wanted to show you, let's look at this LeBron James moment. This is transaction history. Taking out the serial numbers between zero and 35,000, every now and then, some loser or sacrificial lamb dumps these moments for a ridiculous price. In the 9th of May, someone dropped this moment for $1. That's a sacrifice. So is this. Uh, on the 15th of May, someone dropped this moment for $10. 
Now, there is no way you are going to snipe this moment. Um, and what, what you can see here is this is, where are we with LeBron? We're at 69% circulation on this block. This is this little dip here. This is where he dropped from $39 all the way down to $18. That was a pack drop day. That was a pre-reg pack drop day. So his moment entered the marketplace at $70. People were like, yeah, you knew LeBron. It found its market value at $38 based on its distribution, and then it dropped all the way down on a pack day to $18. So what does that tell you? Next time there's a pre-reg pack drop, stay alert. Same thing happened over here. He got, he was at market value, $35 after that day. And on the 15th of May, he dropped all the way to $19, excluding that one I just mentioned that was just dumped for $10. So don't sell necessarily on a pack drop day. Clearly they're good opportunity buying days. Now it's getting tougher. There are a lot of uh, competition in buying these moments on these days. But this is also where you get your bargains on these pack days. And guess what? There's plenty of those coming around the corner. So for me, I'm looking at the Stephs. I'm looking at um, my favorite players on those days to find those bargains. And I'm setting up uh, notifications as well. The notifications are usually too slow because the real bargains, they go in like, you know, very quickly under 45, 30 seconds. And, you know, you could say bot, but maybe, maybe not. Now, I wanted to also bring up all of the badge moments. You can highlight a couple of badges, only rookie mint and rookie year. There's no rookie premieres for under $5. And these are all of the moments that you can get with two badges for under $5. Precious Achua, Obi Toppin, Chuma Okiki, Denny Ajvira, what? Denny, Xavier Tillman, Devin Vassell, Okongwu, Peyton Pritchard, Okoro, McDaniels, Compazzo. Now, that's interesting actually because he's getting lots of minutes at the moment for Denver Nuggets and Isaiah Stewart. Unfortunately, he's on Detroit, so he's not going anywhere in the next couple of months. But, Compazzo, you know, he could have a moment in the playoffs and two badges. Not bad. The other ones I'm thinking about that are dropping, um, James Wiseman, he's got a couple of badges and he's currently sitting at 12 bucks. He has been going down and down for a long time now. He used to be, you know, well above $50, as did Tyrese Halliburton. He's currently sitting at fifth, sorry, $14, two badge, very popular rookie, maybe the third best player this year on performances, maybe. Um, I'm watching him go down at the moment, especially since those two just mentioned are injured and not involved in the playoffs or both. Um, so really high valued rookies on top shot, even more so than say your Paul George's, which is a bit ridiculous. Other ones I'm watching are the Nets in general. Now I mentioned James Harden was $5 when I brought up the tab. He's not anymore. He's six, $7. Kyrie Irving's flirting with that border as well. So if he gets some more distribution, I really see potential in, in snapping up some Kyrie Irvings. And obviously there's potential for him to perform in the playoffs as well. Just ridiculous potential. Kevin Durant, he's a way off this $5 video, but still at 20 bucks, he looks quite attractive there. And even, even the other one, James Harden at $13, I've stacked a few of these as well before I knew about his new assist moment, but I've stacked his floater there um, for $13. I paid a lot more than that. I paid, I paid $30 a couple of times, I think, and I got one in a pack as well. But I think Harden is a machine, and I think this time in the playoffs... With this supporting cast, he's just going to be a danger. So they are my best bargains for $5 or less or ones that I'm looking out for on NBA Top Shot. So remember the Flow Market Cap Players Most Liquid Players list. This is a really useful tool that I use just to see what the market values. And two that I've actually noticed just by checking this list is Jason Tatum and Devin Booker. Devin Booker on the second best team in the West, again, with Chris Paul. And I think this is a, oh yeah, no, this is the handles. So he's got a handles moment for $4. He's also got another moment, which isn't far away from $4. And Jason Tatum for $5. Now I know the Celtics are kind of stuffed with all the injuries, but Jason Tatum for $5. He is an all-star again for 
$5. So anyway, they are my tips and suggestions for the best $5 moments on NBA Top Shot at the moment. Remember, check out Steph Suto. She inspired this video. And not that she knew that I was making this. Remember to please consider subscribing and or liking this video if you found any value here. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good day. See ya.